Hey, this is Brian with King Grizzly, and in this video, I'd like to show you how to do this neat image zooming effect I found on this Royal Caribbean World Cruise website. So if I scroll the page down, you'll see these, there's these images that zoom in and out as I scroll. But the cool thing is they stay clipped into a shape so the, the whole box isn't getting bigger. So if I go down, you can see this, this mountain or volcano gets bigger and smaller, uh, or like down here, these pictures they kind of get bigger and smaller as I scroll. So kind of a fun effect, and you'll notice like the, the images stay clipped. So I, in the editor in Elementor, I was curious how hard would that be. Um, and I, you know, I did this kind of quick, so it's not exact. But as you can see, we can do something pretty similar right in the editor. So I will show you how to do that with Elementor and no code. All right, I know we're all busy people, so I'm gonna quickly show you how I did this. There's two different ways uh, I thought to do it, and I'll show you both. Uh, there's probably more, but this is good for now. So just drop some content on the page that I borrowed from the Royal Caribbean website. I will delete it off my server after doing this demo. Uh, so what I did on this first one here with the mountain that zooms in and out is I dropped a container in on the page, and then with that container, I set it to full width, 100% wide, and I gave it a minimum height of uh, 90 viewport height. And you can see, if you look at my viewport, which is just my space in my browser window, I think, uh, it goes from the top to about 90%, and then there's like a, the 10% of the next panel, right? Now I could change that number if I wanted to use something else, like 80. Um, uh, 90 looked pretty good to me, and I believe you can change that per device. So if you wanted to fiddle with it on tablet and mobile to get the best look, it's totally doable. So that you know that's all I did and then I dropped in a few heading widgets and styled them up to look you know approximately like that that web page but really it's all on this one a background image effect so we go uh, click on the container hit style I drop my image in here for the background so under normal I just click on that little paintbrush and add an image and then uh, you can fiddle around with how it's positioned, center, center, top, center. But really, we need to set the display size to cover. If I set it to something like contain, then the whole image will stay in the width of the container. But I actually want it to cover the container. So that's important. Set that to cover. And then really, we just need to turn on scrolling effects and set the scale. So what I did is I set it to scale. You can play with this number. The higher the number, I think the more aggressive the scaling effect. And then you can actually set kind of like at what point in the viewport do you want this to be happening? Like, do you want it to be from zero to 100% or zero to 40%? So like if I scroll down here, I believe I set these penguin ones to not happen until they get near the top of the viewport. So when I'm down at the bottom, they don't happen immediately. They happen as I get, see up higher on the page, this penguin effect starts going in and out, but at some point it stops. So first I have the, the one on the left go and then I have um, the penguins and if this looks skinny it's you know with the editor on I don't have as much real estate but I can play around with the, the screen widths and get it just how I want or close right so we go back up to this one um, and that's really all I had to do and I could experiment with what what speeds uh, look good but that is really all there is to the background effect is setting that scale up or scale down there's different options here so there's one approach and i did the same thing down here so i just made a like a two column container setup if i click on this container you can see i added uh, a background image i set it to be center center cover and i set the scale uh, i set this one to four and i have a wider uh, range at which the animation happens and I, on my bigger well here i can I'll sh anyway, I don't like how this is skinny, but I'll, I'll show you how to make it fatter. So then on the penguin one, I wanted to show you. I've been showing you how to do background images on containers. That's what this one is, right? I'm going to throw that out because we already have two examples of that, right? So this is a container, and it's got a background image. This is a container with a mountain. But this one here is not because I, I kind of don't like using background images. They're a little tricky for image optimization plugins. I'm not sure they're great for SEO. So what I wanted to do is figure out how to put in a real image instead of just a background. So what I did is I did drop a container in there. And on that container, I gave it a width. So the container itself has a max width of 300 pixels. Now I can play with that and change that number to whatever I want. Uh, it could be, it doesn't have to be pixels either. It could be a percentage based thing. I can play with the height. So I was experimenting with that. Those are adjustable by device size. Uh, and then what I did 
is under additional options for that container, I set the overflow to hidden. If I don't, if I have it on default, then my image pops out the sides. And why is the image so big? Well, I'll show you. Now, if I click on the image, so what I did here is I went to motion effects and I set the scale effects on my image. So I, I turn the scrolling effects on, I set it to scale down, and you'll see, like I said, this one doesn't kick in until later in, in the viewport. When it crosses like the 34% mark, it starts the animation up to 100. Um, but what I did is I set it to center uh, horizontally and vertically. And so what happens is it, it if I scroll, you'll see it it's going up and down in size. But we don't want it bleeding out of that container. So I just click on the container. I go to additional options. I say, look, just hide the overflow. Now, a benefit of this is... Uh, border radius sometimes has trouble with containers with background images like this one here if I wanted to round the corners I think there's a trick to it. I can't remember what it is, but if I use this image approach uh, I think I can just click on this container go to style order and then I can set a radius So if I increase that you'll see the corners are are getting rounded more And then if I just preview this you'll see this image looks much wider now because I had the double penguin thing in as an example <laughs> double penguin um, so now you can see uh, we've got these scaling images that go up and down. We can adjust adjust all of these um, and per device size too, right? So I mean, this is approximately close to to what's going on on Royal Caribbean. They may have some easing going on, or you know, it may be controlled with CSS or JavaScript. But you know what? Out of the box with Elementor, this is pretty slick. Um, so. I think those are two good ways to try to get at this. For a big panel like this, I'd use the background, uh, you know, the one with the mountain, the background approach. But if I have a, a kind of like in context image like this one, like over here on this, this one on the left, I'd probably recommend maybe going the image route uh, like this instead of the background. But you kind of have to experiment with what works for your design. Uh, so hopefully uh, that kind of clipped zooming effect is a neat effect you could use here and there uh, to add a little flair to your website. Uh, if this was useful, please consider subscribing as we'll keep rolling out good elementary content. Thank you.